Ah, Australia. We are blessed with amazing wildlife, picturesque locations, and ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we are one of the greatest countries when it comes to finding love. And I wanted to let all you good motherfuckers out there in the internet world know exactly how you can find love here in Australia. But it turns out I don't even have to do the research because there's a video that has already been created which makes it very easy for Australian people to find love. But first, this video is brought to you by my comedy special. The Butterfield Effect is now out and you can check it out immediately. I'm very proud of it. So go and check it out. It is the top comment in this video and it is also in the description. You can just check it out on my website. Ladies and gentlemen, go and chase that motherfucker. I discovered a video that was created by Vice. Yes, I know Vice is bullshit, but this is magical. Before I get into this video and why it suits Australians so perfectly, I need to explain a word to our overseas counterparts. You see, there's a word here in Australia, and that word is bogan. Now, a bogan is like a redneck, but unfortunately, unlike rednecks in America, which are just located, you know, in the south of that country, bogans in Australia are everywhere. In fact, I'm a bogan, you're a bogan, we're all fucking bogans. So where do bogans find love? Well, they go to a B and S ball, a bachelor and spinsters ball. This is out in the middle of the outback. All these people come together, get drunk as fuck, and do heaps of rooting. And this is what Vice found out. They thought they'd send some reporters out there, and <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. Hang on a fucking second, everybody stop. Is that Frenchy? I fucking know that head anywhere. That's fucking Frenchy. How long times me how fast flitter I watch? <laughs> Ladies are seriously forming lines. This bloke has got a Carlton dry can wrapped around his cock. What an absolute catch, ladies and gentlemen. If he doesn't pick up all the birds at this BNS ball, I will be fucking shocked. Yeah, Lord, it depends how desperate we are for tits. We rolled all the way, 210 kilometers. Now let me out, show us your tits. We got zero tits. Hang on a second. Are you blokes telling me that nobody saw that sign? No Sheila saw that sign that was written on the back of a water tank with a spray can that you probably stole from Kmart and thought, oh, fucking hang on a second. How about these blokes? I'm going to get me big old fucking milkers out and give them the best day of their lives. What a bullshit world we live in. You can dance well. If you're good enough, you can flick a keg going. You, you just bring a keg. <laughs> Alright, that is enough. That is fucking Frenchy, alright? I've lived with that prick for a month. I know exactly what he's about. And I know that those shorts belong to him. Time for a dip. Ah, uh, and here we are. The Elmore Bachelor and Spinsters Ball. The BNS Ball, the biggest culmination of dudes rooting birds, blind drunk in a fucking weird place since every single NRL and AFL Mab Monday combined. <laughs> what the fuck was that bird doing? This is my Ute. It's a Ford BA. It's a 2003 model, Mark I. Um, it's second hand. It's had a hard life. My boyfriend and I have built it together and he's taught me how to do the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful ute. Let's just have a look at some of the stickers that are on there. Classic Rock 102.5. G'day from Canada. Love it or leave it. I knew that one was going to be there. It was either going to be that or fuck off. We're full. Beautiful stuff. At the back here, I've got a few more stickers. I've got... No undies, Monday to Sunday. No undies, Monday to Sunday? Jesus. Are you saying that you're just free ball and love? Well, obviously in your case, just free flapping. At the top of the roll bar, I've got ride me like you stole me. Ride me like you stole me. This is someone's daughter. <laughs> this is someone's granddaughter. And she's driving along the main street of fucking who knows where saying, oi. If you get a piece of this ass, you fucking ride me like you stole me, you dirty prick. <laughs> Imagine your kids watching this video. Come on, love, what are you doing? My goal this year is to win the wet t-shirt competition for the second year in a row. Uh, I won it last year, and that last year was my first year. Ash, 
you just put on the internet for millions of people to watch th that your goal in life is to get your tits out and be recognised by a group of strange bogans that your t-shirt that is white is the most see-through and shows off your tits in a nice manner. That's your life goal. Not being an astronaut, not curing cancer, not raising a beautiful family or living a happy life and growing old with someone. No, it's getting your tits seen at a B&S ball. <coughs> Bravo, <laughs> you dirty bogan. I need all the cheering because the loudest cheer wins. You win a wet t-shirt. I won it last yeah. year. Yeah. So, come on. Holy shit, she's got fans. <laughs> I need all the cheering I can get. Oh yeah. And I'm voting for you, babe. Good. Wet t-shirt rocks. Dude, to ask him for selfies. Oh yeah, baby, your titties look fucking sick last year. I hope they're gonna look fucking sick again this year, babe. Oh, I fucking love that t-shirt you wore from Lowe's last year. Oh, mate, I tell you what, I fucking... Can I see your nipples now? Oh, that's all right, I'll see them later. Yeah, fucking nah. Wow. That man is really pulling with some mic there. I wonder what is really motivating- Oh, it's a can of UDLs. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. It's cow preg testing lube. Cow pregnant testing lube is a statement, a sentence, that I never thought I would ever say on this channel, and I'm glad that I have. Could you imagine getting excited about seeing a big pool of cow pregnant testing lube and think I'm gonna jump in that motherfucker and I'm gonna wrestle some of my mates, oh yeah, it's gonna be good, I'm gonna beat Davo, I'm really gonna rub up against him and beat Davo. What the fuck are you people doing? What part of a BNS ball does it <laughs> Why are you wrestling with your mates in pregnant to cow testing pregnant lube? The fuck's wrong with you? And the chicks have their tops off. That didn't take fucking long at all. All the blokes are swarming around like flies. <laughs> I wonder what that bloke just said to his mate then. Oh, fucking tits, bro. You see those fucking tits, man? Oh, fucking bro. I fucking love titties, eh? Oh, <laughs> titties and tinnies. <laughs> The moment we have all been waiting for, Ash is about to realise her dream of getting her tits wet in front of strangers. Huzzah! <laughs> Fingers crossed! Well, look at the fucking crowd! Where is Clementine Ford right now, okay? This is where feminists sort of need to be. These dudes are literally spraying chicks with a hose. <laughs> cheering for me but when they're not I'm like oh am I not good enough but then James always tells me that I've got the best boobs and that he loves them and he loves that they're more than a handful so I'm okay with that well she lost sad face super sad face but fear not it is party time now let's get some rooting on <laughs> Their vice is fucked up. They haven't even shown what has happened when the lights went out. They basically just went to the next morning. We didn't get to find out how much stank puss there was, how much stank dap there was, how many STDs were transferred, how many pregnancies happened because of this. It's very, very sad that they didn't do proper investigative journalism. So, what I thought I would do is I'd head out to this exact spot and interview some locals to find out exactly what happens at a BNS ball. Yeah, g'day, hey, can you see me? Yeah, g'day, hey, going, Darren here. 
I've been kind of being this bull since I was probably about seven or eight years old, mate. I'll tell you what, when I come here, I always try and pick up. I actually rooted this bird. I'll introduce you to her in a second. Her name's Kim, and she's a fucking good as well, bro. And, uh, yeah, I always come here, and the one thing I want to do more than anything else is really get on the piss with the boys and then, and then, and then stuff my flaccid cock into some dirty bitch who, who you know, have been dancing in the mud all night. And, and, and her puss is just like wide open, so I like to get stuck and right and fucking into it. And uh, yeah, so you know, mate, I, I work pretty hard. I'm a sheep shearer by day, and uh, you know, I go to the sheep shearer alliance of Australia. And you know, I like to really get in stuck into the, the chicks when I get out here because we don't see girls back home. So yeah, nah, thanks for the interview. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, good on ya. <clears throat> okay, just ask whatever. I just talk about the BNS, all right? Uh, so, I really enjoyed the BNS ball. My name's Kim. I, I uh, picked up a boy. We might be, you know, going steady soon, yeah. Real nice guy. His name was Daz or Darren or something. We really hit it off, you know. He he, he met me on the D floor. We were dancing to the nut bush and then he fucking nutted it in my bush. That was fucking great. Anyway, peace in the middle loose, boo, good motherfucker. Me next stinks. Bye. Oh! <laughs> oh! I kicked me fucking toe on the table. Christ! It's bullshit. The things I do for you bloody people. Bloody. Jesus.